<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Black Naganashi here with your Adventure Quest video. And um, I checked the forums and I checked the um, homepage. And it seems that now you can increase your max stats to 250. Um, now, um, there's a catch. The catch is basically... Um, if you want to get the most out of your pure builds, and with that, I am literally going to rename my own build. You feel me? Um, this is an independent thing. No one has to follow along with me, but it's just something that I'm doing myself. If you guys want to follow along, that's cool. If not, that's also cool, but it's just something that I'm just going to name it myself. Okay. So, um, in order to get 250 and all your max stats you have to untrain 150 of whatever stat is just laying around all right so in this case i have to untrain 150 of my endurance and as you can see here i'm going to go ahead and screenshot this you know for before picture and I'm going to do it after. Once I'm done, I'm going to show you guys me untraining my stats, you know, and how they look afterwards. All right. I'm also going to go on my character page, you know, and show you guys, you know, my stats on my character page. All right. Now, this is the before picture. All right. Slash clip. All right. Um, I'm not going to screenshot this, actually. You know what, then again, no, no, no. I might actually do this instead, so I'm going to do that. Um, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to get this shit started. So, the new build is it's still going to be a long period warrior, but because, you know, it has a little bit more taste to the power, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to rename it Purely Warrior. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, that's kind of cheesy. You know, why are you naming it something so stupid? You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, hey, it's whatever. Oh, shit, I forgot to put in my password. Okay. Um, give me a second. All right. Now, my stats are now at zero as far as um, endurance. Um, I'm not going to lie. kind of stings because... I'm used to my health being high while I'm also attacking and hitting really hard. So this is going to change my whole perspective. But I'm pretty sure they probably going to make some changes along with this. So I'm pretty sure our health may not even be this low anymore. It may even get back to where it was before or at least a little bit closer. All right, because, you know, monsters hit really hard. And with this amount of health, we'll probably be done within a few turns, even, if, even at our most defensive. All right. So... Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and train up our strength first. All right, so, all right. So see how he has hella health? That's a lot of goddamn health, but it's okay. You know, we gotta, you know, be fully defensive anyway. Um, all right, low on that ice. Okay, I, I kind of needed that anyway, so. Um, I'm, I could've sworn I had an ice type but it's okay. Um, I don't. I think this pet does light. No, I don't think it does. It doesn't really matter though, because I'm just gonna have to just do full on buffs and just buff myself up. And I can't use spells, so that means um, guest dynamis is out of the picture. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's been so long since I even trained my stats, so like I kind of forgot that you can't even use spells. Um, might have to use warp rider for a little bit more, you know, damage. Right. And I'm also not using ally assist in this either, okay? I want you guys to see me actually, you know, like do this shit straight up, you know, hate up too. You know, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be real. I will also, you know, be showing myself getting wrecked possibly. So if I die a couple times, you know, I apologize. I'm trying to do this shit as fast as possible. All right. So, um,. <sighs> Um, since my last video about my frustrations about, you know, making a stupid mistake that I made, I actually have come to terms with myself and, you know, have fully, completely calmed down. 
you know about the situation because I was really pissed before. But now I'm I'm good, you know, because I realize there's a lot of similar pets out there that can do the same thing or better or whatever the case may be. It's just you know, it's cool. You know, it's all good. Plus, I'll make up for it in time anyway with different rares. Um, yeah, he's kind of giving me a run for my money, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, cool. So that's one battle down. A couple more to go. All right. That looks so weird, my stats being over... 200 without a boost, you know what I'm saying? I know what I should have did. I don't know exactly what I should have did. I'm going to do this shit right now, actually, before I continue. Um, But this shit looks so weird to me. Like, But at the same time, I don't want to be a scrub and have hella health and my stats not maxed out. I like my shit maxed, so I'm just going to take that L, you know what I'm saying? It don't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. It's cool. I mean, I could have used something else probably in place of the ambush um, potion, but I'm kind of used to using that, and I like going first. So, yeah. I'm not sure if I have the mage. I think I do have the mage one, too. So I can just do the mage. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I do have it. I, I don't know why I thought I didn't. So we're going to uh, we're gonna just do strictly strength first, and then we're going to go ahead and... Go over to dexterity, and then we're go, going to go over to luck. All right, so everything's already maxed out here. So, you know, same as last time. Um, I really wish I could use spells, but I ha I really have to come to terms that I can't because I can't, you know, use buffalo or I can't use the guest dynamic, so I have to use the power that I have for this, but it's okay. All right. So, um... In my mind, um, I don't think this whole less endurance thing is too bad because all we hit hard as is, like, I hit like really hard, you feel me? And like, I can probably end battles before they even end me. And as you can clearly see, like, he had way more health than that, and I'm already shaving him down to almost my health. I got him at halfway, but his halfway is more than my halfway, so. I just got to hit another lucky strike or something like that, and I'll be good. I mean, I don't mind using potions if I have to, you know. But this battle, I might not get so, so lucky, but it's okay. Because I will do this shit as much as I have to. Um, but at the same time, I'm not going to go out like a punk, though. I refuse, so, you know, he's going to have to try harder than that to, you know, take me down. You feel me? Yeah. Um... No, you see him buffing me. Thunder already got it. All right, two ten. All right, but yeah, um, this this weapon is love. Like the fact that it's called Mighty Blade of Frost will pass. When in reality, is it's like an Ice Guardian Blade. Um, I think that is really cool that it has a unique name. Actually, I, I love the names of the fossil items actually it's, it's really lovely to see because it, it just gives me a feeling of nostalgia you know and I, I just love that shit so I also realized I don't know if he still does this particular attack um, I also don't want to jinx it either but I'm just going to risk it anyway um, there is this one attack that Grimwell does that when he stomps on the ground it does energy damage he has not done that once I don't know if they took that attack off, or maybe it's just rare that he does it, or, you know, I don't know, but, yeah, um, I think that's where they took that attack off, um, because, like, why would you keep, you know, one multi-element type attack, okay, so he did just do it, okay, so I just jinxed it, but he didn't do that much damage, so I ain't like he's gonna do hella damage, alright, so they didn't take that attack off, alright, cool, I'm satisfied now. But, like, I remember back in the day, I used to get my ass whooped horribly by the stat trainers. They used to do hella damage, and, like, my stats were spread out like crazy, too. So, like, um, I most definitely, you know, got my ass whipped like, with ease. But now, it's just like I'm running through them, even with no endurance. I'm just like, look, like, 
My health is weak, but my power will make up for it like crazy. Especially after everything is fully trained. Um, in my opinion, um, the staff most definitely pulled the fast one. I did not expect that they would make us have to untrain a stat that we already had trained in order to, you know, achieve the max stats that we want. I, I thought that it was going to add more stat points or eventually increase the level cap or some shit like that. But I'm pretty sure they wasn't going to increase the level cap anyway. But it was just thoughts that I had. But the fact that, like, they really say, look, I want max stats. Y'all got to untrain, untrain something. And a lot of the stats that pure builds have, you know, that's, you know, 150 stat points is endurance. So we got to take our health down just to be as powerful as we want. I mean, I think it's an okay sacrifice, though, because, like, I think we will be actually, and I hate saying this word because, like, I usually don't like to believe that a lot of things are overpowered, but we probably would be a bit overpowered because, like, having a lot of health and hitting even harder. But at the same time, at the same time, y'all literally buff the mess out of our opponents to the point where, you know, we have to be fully defensive. So, like, anytime we do hit hard, I'm not going to say it's luck, but it's really out the crack of our asses because it's just like, you know, it's not easy to hit hard unless we want to take hella damage back. You feel me? Like, if I switch to Shefton's Iron Throne right now, I'm most definitely sure that I'm going to take hella damage, you know? But I'm not taking that risk because I'm trying my hardest to, you know, run through these damn stat trainers, and I'm trying to understand how did he block that. But I have to understand that this is this isn't like like the regular Guardian Dragon or anything like that. I have to realize this is just a regular Ice Element Guardian Dragon, so it's really nothing special from the regular. One. So I'm about to take the risk, actually, because I'm like. I see that I'm not really hitting as hard as I need to be. Um, I don't know how much damage he's doing. Okay. Um, I really need some multi-hitting, so... Uh, i just do this. I don't know how effective it was going to be. Okay. Cool. Alright, that's not too bad. And I like how, you know, Grunwald talks shit when you beat him. Oh, you might not be so lucky next time. Well, I'll beat you three times in a row. Well, more than three times in a row, actually four times in a row. So, I don't know if this is luck here, but okay. Um, anyway. <sighs> Alright, so, like, I'm about to test this out, actually. Okay, so the skill cannot be used while spells are disabled. Honestly, I'm not even mad. I am not even mad. I think that makes sense. It's fine. Um... Because I'm not going to lie, like, I didn't even look at the info subs for the armor, actually, so, you know, I'm pretty sure it says it's a spell-based skill, anyway, because I'm pretty sure they, they note that shit anyway, so it's, it's not that they leave in the dark, and you be like, why the fuck can I use this? You know, so, it's understood. But now, I wonder how this whole luck, I think, no, I think the luck one is, you have to, um beat um i forgot what the fuck i honestly forgot the name of the major one nebron i think yeah i think you gotta beat him without using potions and if i if i can beat grunwald without using potions i'm pretty sure i can do the same for him so cakewalk this is a bit tedious because the fucking health and the defense and the fact that i have to be defensive but it looks like i'm at an advantage state so i can probably start being a little bit reckless so if you guys hear something in the background that is you know super smash brothers ultimate in the background um because i'm online in the battle arena and on spectate mode i'm just spectating people in my battle arena while i do this and i was already spectating prior to that so yeah all right cool i kind of wish that monsters would die as soon as like you attack instead of pets like attacking afterwards or whatever the case may be i think it's because it's dynamics though like i want to test that out like when i'm about to kill him i'm about to test this shit out 
Because something, like, I miss a lot of details sometimes, and I don't like that about myself. Like, I will be missing small details that I should be paying attention to. Oh, damn, that was a nice ass um, attack. But yeah, um. <sighs> yeah, um, honestly, this is actually, in my opinion, bad news. But, um, because I didn't even think about this. I should have actually noted this in my last video, but I think I've. I'm giving up hope as far as that um, classic and modern sound toggle because, like, literally every video that I've posted, in the exception of, I think, the last video, and I think maybe the video before that. I mean, that could change. I probably could just put the link there anyway, but um, no one's really been posting on it. And the only way people can post on it as if they have the link because the post is not active because it's been so long since someone has commented on it. And then, um, and then, uh, it's just like the same, I'm not gonna say the same people, but it's just like the same kind of stuff being said and the staff has not really, you know, kept me posted. And I just thought about something else too. I realized why the pet was still like kind of attacking because I realized that the damn stat trainers health doesn't go to zero so like the pet according to the pet the battle is still going on so to solve my own question because i was i was just so confused for a second been so tuned out i haven't been paying full on attention but it's okay it's all good <sighs> this shit is so fucking boring bro like I really just wanted to go all out. I really, honestly, what I should have did, like, especially knowing this was coming up, I should have just charged up my tranquility charges on my Kindred and just really just, like, smack these trainers up. So, like, something serious. But I honestly wasn't even thinking about that. And I'm honestly not even about to sit here and take the time to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and just tough it out and do this shit as quick as possible. I'm almost done. Like... I'm most definitely almost done. And I just missed the damn special again. Again. Like, what the hell? It's wild. <sighs> um, I'm pretty sure that I clipped my blade. It's probably because it didn't, it didn't go through. It's okay. It's cool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try to do this. Take the easy way out. I'm not trying to really use up a whole bunch of SP. Because, like, in order for me to get my SP back quick, using the Essence Orb, I have to drain my health. And because my health is now low and not high anymore, you know, doing that shit is pretty risky at this point in time. You know, so, like, it's, it's really risky. But, uh, I mean, it's all good, though, because I think it kind of brings a little excitement to battles. In a way, low key, like not fully, because it's like it's still kind of boring and it's still like, oh, you're in the clutch the whole time. All right, I have an idea. So, um, all right. Oh, that's why. Okay, because it's only one round. I think that's actually really stupid, because like you're only doing this shit once per battle, so like you will literally have to hit really hard with an ice attack. I mean. Uh, I guess it's alright. It still doesn't really fully make sense to me, but it's all good. I will deal with it. Cause it did good amount of damage in return, so it's cool. All right, now back to what I was doing, and my game is lagging, so it's probably gonna say communication error. Okay, still can't use that. All right, did not learn my lesson from the first time. I thought, okay, so basically you can't use skills. Period. It seems. I mean, all right. Oh, wow. So a whole bunch of people left the battle arena, looks like. Oh, no. No, they didn't. Okay, good. Oh, no. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a little bit sidetracked. And now this dude is, like, literally all by himself in the battle arena. And he's probably expecting me to join it, but I can't right now because I'm busy. But back to this. So... It's really weird seeing myself with zero endurance. But, 
I'll get used to it pretty quick once I see the max stats. Because the max stats is going to be sitting beautiful. Oh, shit, man. Alright, but, uh, yeah. But, like, uh, the build ideas is pretty weird to me. Like, honestly, if I'm thinking this through correctly, because you have to untrain stats in order to get these max stats, I don't know if it's just me or you can't really create or optimize existing unique builds with this. I mean, I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong, but you're basically buffing a already good build, you know, or this is a way of saying, look, you got to sacrifice something if you want to make this better, because I'm pretty sure there's actually going to be still people out there that have their endurance and their stats still being at 200, but like, it's not going to feel the same because like you can put them stats up. So why not do it, you know? And then, on top of that, I'm going to be honest with you. Because, um, like, again, I really don't be looking at two things as often as I used to. So, you know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about any of the info that I'm stating here. I'm I'm open to learning shit. I'm open to, you know, have my mind refreshed. Because a lot of the things that might get told to me is probably things I already knew prior to now. It's just, it's been so long since I've, you know been extremely active in AQ to the point where I was on the forums every day knowing everything that happens. I used to be on the forums like all the time. Now I don't even really log into the forums. I just go in there to look and see if there's any updates or whatever the case may be. And it's just like, okay, cool. That's out. All right, boom. So, all right, so, so what? But, um, yeah, um, so like, if we have to take away endurance to make our stats, well, our pure stats stronger, I'm hoping that I can see a difference in numbers. Like, seriously, but, you know, I can't judge for right now until we're done. Because we're actually almost done training up strength. Which is splendid, actually. Because <clears throat> that's one less stat that I have to worry about once again. And he's most definitely blocking. I feel like he's going to give me a hard time in this battle because of this. And it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. And I feel like he's going to try to hit me really hard. But I'm going to try to hit even harder. Possible. Alright. Perfect. Just what I needed. So, this is one just enter my battle arena, win the game. Alright, so max stats. Alright. Oh, dexterity. Alright, I almost forgot. I'm about to say, wait, let's do some luck training, but I'm like, no. Nah. Alright, so we're using range drops. Okay, so now I can use spells again. So, um, this is cool. So, like, this should be a little bit more easier. Considering, um, now I can you know use my spells, but the thing is, my damn um, my SP is gonna be like falling. <laughs> it's gonna fall like tremendously, but it should be worth it. You know, hence that damn hit I just did. So like, all right. I understand that that shit this basically said use range but I'm clearly using melee but the thing is his ranged his ranged defense is 20 points lower than melee in magic but nowadays so many monsters have these type of defenses we can hit straight through it so it's like really nothing now I see if these trainers had like a plucks type effect where like if you hit with melee and magic you'll do zero damage and ranged will do damage like only ranged type things will do damage 
That'll be cool. Um, it will probably discourage folks that don't have any ranged weapons. Um, but, I mean, like, if you starting off playing the game and you train your stats for the first time, it should brief the person that, like, yeah, try this, you know, so you'll do damage so you won't be screwed over. You know, but, I mean, if they don't do it, it's cool. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's really about just training the stats. It's nothing too serious. All right, now we got to wait for these damn pets to, you know, boost up my attacks for nothing. So, <laughs> luck just looked out for me. So, like, um, unrelated, um, basically, back to the whole battle winner thing on Smash Brothers. Um, two people entered my battle arena while I was just, like, on the little spectating thing. And they just started fighting each other. I'm like, cool. I ain't got to worry about my damn battle arena, you know, shutting down because, you know, it was not active. Somebody just joined and started fighting, which is perfect. That shit worked in my favor. Because I was actually, you know, hoping for that to stay up. And I keep missing. That is unlucky. Alright. I kind of low-key want to use my throw scorn because, like, it's a lot stronger. I mean, I can use my Tempest Summiter because it does a lot of damage, too. I mean, the boost to ice attacks is cool, but it's just like, you know, what the fuck? Like, I'd rather just use something else instead. You know, um, I honestly don't know what my next video is going to be. Um, I really don't. But I am going to have my eye out wide open for the whole, the February crossover stuff, so... You know, if I don't make another video till then, then, you know, it's quite obvious why, you know. Depends on what the stuff is. Because, um, I think when I did a damn uh, video on the Paragon plate in the collab boat we released a long time ago, you know, that shit was low-key hot, like the video. But, um, I mean, shit. Oh, I forgot about this. I didn't think about this. I was not thinking about this at all. And I can change this to range, so like I can probably make this battle go more in my favor if I just switch over to range. You know, instead of continuously risking, you know, missing, because like, you know, this is very much time consuming. Especially because I'm using booster pets. So annoying. Alright, now I'm using range. I feel like I should use something else too. As far as like armor, uh, I'm not sure if I want. You know, I'm gonna do it because this weapon gets stronger actually as my health gets lower anyway. So um, it's gonna go ahead and do that. It's a big risk though because like uh, this is not this is not defensive to any of the elements that he's really hitting me with, so, like, he can probably nuke me if he wanted to. Um, but I'm just gonna try to, um, kill him before he kills me. Or, I'm gonna try to wait till I get to critical health, and then probably just go ahead and just try to nuke him. But that's a pretty big risk, because, you know, what if I attempt to nuke him and I miss? Then... I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna be sitting here looking salty like damn I just fucking died. All right, so I'm gonna try to nuke him this turn because like he's literally about to kill me. All right, perfect. And that lucky strike was in clutch because that means I would have missed that attack, which is really horrible. Like, why though? Like, if I'm using range, and I have accuracy like crazy, why am I missing? And then his range defense is already low. Why am I missing? You know, like, I just don't understand. So, the good thing about the Tranquility Charges is that they carry over. So, what I'm trying to do is I am trying to basically, you know, I got a better idea. I'm going to try to be as defensive as I can until my health gets, you know, critical. And then I'll try to nuke. 
at least if my health is a little bit higher than usual, I can get more tranquility charges. By the time my health gets critical, I have enough tranquility charges to carry over to the next battle, and then I can just keep doing this, rinse and repeat. Then it won't be so tedious. Cause this shit is very boring, like really boring. Like shit is really mind blowing. Oh Jesus. But uh yeah. Um so like I posted on Facebook on my um Adventure Quest page um for folks to give me your, you know, friend codes for uh, Nintendo Switch. Because, you know, if you guys have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I am almost always on my Switch when I'm not at work. So, you know, if you guys want to, uh, you know, face me, that'll be great. You know what I'm saying? I could use a challenge. I need to get better anyway, like crazy. I mean, I'm not a scrub, but at the same time, I just want to be a lot better than I am. So, yeah, this, you know... You know, putting the offer out there for those who are interested. <clears throat> I think I've noted this before also in the previous video. So I think I'm going to stick with this strategy actually because it's the most effective. And it's, I mean, I mean, it's effective, but it also has a risk. But because I got a kind of a defensive shield to help me take less earth damage, even though he does two other elements. Um... It still helps. It still helps. A lot. Oh, shit. All right. So I got over 200 tranquility charges already, which is pretty good. Because then I can try to charge a little bit more before, you know, I can try to nuke him. All right, so now it's time because my shit is at critical now. So, yep, it's it's pretty it's pretty clean. You know, it's a pretty clean strategy. I mean, people will use different ways to nuke these um, stat trainers. This so happens to be my way. I mean, I could use shadow feed dependent, but that's that's too much. Like, that's really too much, in my opinion, because it's like, you gotta, you know, do all this dumb ass shit. I mean, I could use this shield, too, um, but I'm not going to. Might use the Terra. Let's see. Let me, let me check, see what I benefit from one. Let's check. So, this will put my, my darkness at 52. This will put my Earth at 53. I just realized, why did I just... Equip Terra Totem. He doesn't do darkness. My bad. Sorry, guys. Um, light, 52. Um, energy, 52. I mean... I mean, I could probably benefit the best from either Ultra Guardian Shield or Waiting Aegis. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with what I was doing. I cannot believe I really sat here and equipped the... Damn, uh... Terra told him like he does darkness. I don't know what I was thinking. And then, and then like, you know, the SP charge is extremely low, considering that my guess kind of does use my, um, SP up, so. Yeah. My health is still looking good too, which is perfect. You probably get it to do three hundred before I, you know, attack. All right. So honestly, usually I would attack when I my health gets a little bit lower than this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. All right, so wow, that's not too bad. The quicker I do this shit, the quicker I can get my stats up. So I'm already about to fully max out dexterity, which is 
brilliant. Most definitely needed. And I forgot to change my shield, but it's okay. I'm not really tripping over that. And that was that was God's that was God's work, <laughs> for real. I kind of wish you could toggle the hat on and off. Like they kind of made the hat like stuck on this, you know. That's kind of what I miss about the old. What I miss about the old Kindred is that the character's head was a little bit lean forward. Like he was like nodding, like not nodding off, but like like in a nodding motion. And you can you know toggle the hat. And the hat was like a little bit more like I don't know, it wasn't as rounded as it is now, but it, it's it's really not that serious. I just kind of wish you could take the hat off. Like, who wants to wear a hot ass hat all day? Like, it does protect you from the sun, <laughs> you know, being little and shit. But you know, hey, I might just have to close down this damn battle arena because, like, I'm not gonna get that damn lucky in. And you know, have two people enter at the same time, and they face each other like that, like it happened last time. Because one person literally got his ass whipped and left the arena, like just like that. And I was like, "Damn, you're not gonna stay?" You know, like shit, like stick around. You know, keep my shit open. Yeah, this uh, I I, I kind of see the benefits to having your stats max because that was a lot of damage on ninety um on ninety resistances. But, you know, you probably also got to take the buffs that I have into, you know, into play. So, but still, like, that's probably the only time you could probably hit that highs with these type of buffs. That's how they get you, you know. And these buffs, you got to pay for. Especially the pet. So, yeah. And I already have, you know, 200, you know, um, tranquility from the last battle. So I'm just gonna stack it up until my um, health gets critical once again. So this is a lovely act. This is actually a lovely strategy because, like, this in case you missed the first time, you can actually make up four by attacking again. You know, and you can make your victory, you know, carved in stone. You know, as opposed to like what I was doing, where I literally just started doing this like some minutes ago. You know, and I'm actually take it to 400. You know, before I attack, you know, even though, like, there's a chance that you could lose, you know, which is, you know, never good. But, I mean, fuck, I already said in the beginning of this video, I said, there's a chance I'm going to get wrecked. And I don't mind showing that because, I mean, what's the use? You know, like, screw it, you know. Plus, it's really not that, it's probably only one or two or so videos that shows me actually losing in a battle so um yeah i mean why not so i'm gonna try to multitask i don't know if i can do this shit but what i'm gonna try to do is i'm about to try to join another battle arena um whilst i'm doing this so I can, you know, have something going on in the background while I'm doing this. Just to have something going on. See, it's not that many battle arenas active this morning. It's really early in the morning. Okay, I'll go to this one. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. That's quite ironic. So basically, um, I go into the battle arena. I am so sorry I keep talking off topic, but I go into the battle arena and I see one of the people that left mine in here because you know they wanted the battle. Of course, I'm not really mad about that. You know, it is ironic because I'm like shit. If, maybe if you'd have waited, you know, you someone would have came in, but it's okay. It doesn't matter as long as I can spectate. All right, and two forty-five. Wow, this is. This is actually lovely, so I'm I'm about to max out dexterity, and if we can hit luck, and then that'll be it. Um, I could just probably um just get it over with right now, and just see if I'm charging it up and just do it next time. 
for the luck. Because, like, you know, what's the use of doing all that? Just to get it out of the way. So, now I got 250 dexterity, too. Look at that. She looks beautiful. Alright, so... Magic stat. Alright. Alright, so, alright, so it's no potions or miscellaneous items, so that means no blood contract. I mean, it's okay, plus his health is low, and he does water, phew, alright. I think he does energy damage too, from what I remember. So, but at the same time, I don't have to really use um, blood contract, because I can just use buff a lot. And I can just probably switch back to melee, so... That's, that'll be cool. All right, let's see. Uh, there we go. So, that's perfect. <clears throat> and that's quick attacks. I just love, you know. Okay, I forgot that he does Earth too, but it's okay. See, Nebron, he's he's humble. He doesn't talk. He doesn't talk smack. Talking about some oh, you might not get so lucky next time. All right, let's see. And I also realized that with me not being able to uh, use items, that means I can't use essence orb. So that means I can run out of SP like fast. You know, but it's okay. Um, I will make. I will most definitely make. You know, make this work. He's doing a considerable amount of damage, though. But don't worry, because now I'm back in advantage state. So that means, with the ambush potion, I will have. Okay, I will have 355 luck, artificial luck for, you know, initiative, initiative bonus, which is dope. I can dig it. So, I'm not going to use buff lot this battle because my SP is literally running really low. And I'm not trying to do a tedious task, which is, you know, go back, recharge, you know, come back. So, if I had to, I would literally get rid of the guest for right now, temporarily, until... I have enough to, you know, withhold him. And I also said I wasn't going to use ally assist. I'm sticking to that. And that bond keeps doing mad earth damage, so might as well switch. He's probably going to do a different element. I think that hit was luck. Even though it wasn't a lucky strike, I feel like it was luck. But, I mean, it was less luck than a lucky strike because... You know, lucky strikes are usually hits that you could have missed. Like, I don't know if anyone has ever said this, but I'm pretty sure it's always at this point, but I'm going to say it anyway. So, like, lucky strikes are almost the equivalent of a sneak strike. A sneak strike, you know how they say, like, the hits that hurt you the most are the hits that you don't see? That's kind of the concept in this game, except for it's not like you're sneaking your opponent. You know, your opponent, you and your opponent is face to face, and you know your defenses and your opponent's defenses can be really high, and especially the, your special opponent, especially by default. So like, you know, you know a lot of your good attacks are getting blocked, and you're just like, what the fuck? Why can't I land a, you know, attack on this motherfucker? And then next thing you know, you hit a really hard hit, you know, a lucky strike. You know, it's. It's an attack that you couldn't miss, you know, and it's super strong because of it, because, like, they didn't expect you to be able to land an attack. That's just how I strongly feel, and then I think I've either read that or heard that somewhere anyway, that a lucky strike is an attack that you primarily either could have or should have missed. So, yeah. But, I mean, sometimes lucky strikes can actually come from weakened defense as well because um 
if you're facing like a stupid Void Dragon, you know, Void Dragons always gonna have weak defense. Like you can hit with any element, you're gonna hit really hard. But if you're buffing yourself up to the maximum and then hitting even harder than you already going to by default, there's a high ass chance you're gonna hit stupid hard. And then especially with the uh, damage cap being higher than it already is, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. With the damage cap being higher than it used to be, you're going to hit really hard. You're going to see, like, literally, like, you're going to see, like, five digit numbers pop up on the screen. Like, for real. Like, honestly, I'm actually glad they did increase the uh, damage cap. Even though it's a weird-ass number, but it makes sense now to explain the reason why. Um, but the whole 7,000 thing, it was cool for a while. But then... It got played out really fast because all people would do, including myself, is do damage cap videos. And I'm just like, okay, we get it, you know. We're at a point in time where our equipment is powerful enough to be able to achieve the damage cap. You know, we, we get it now, you know. There's no use in even doing damage cap videos anymore. Like, when it first came out, it was hot because it's like, okay, what can hit the damage cap? There's probably a couple things that hasn't been shown on video that can hit the damage cap, you know. Like, when I did my damage cap video, when it got increased to, I think it was 32,767, I left out, you know, other armors that could probably hit that high with the correct buffs. And, of course, with the right resistances from the monster as well. Because the buffs that you apply to yourself, um, it's only but so much. So, your monster's um, resistances also come into play. Which is why you see a lot of video versus sun rays, you know, moon rays, void dragons, or any monster that has 200, you know, resistances. I'm going to be honest. I miss the days where um, the um, void monsters, the void dragons, they uh, they had 400% weakness to all elements. I just think that shit was cool. I, I just think it was real cool because I'm like, damn, you know, but back then... Back then, we couldn't hit as hard as we can now, so, like, it kind of made sense for it to be that high, but imagine if it was that high nowadays. You would literally almost be hitting the damage cap with anything. You could probably hit the damage cap with the Guardian plate, the regular Guardian plate, not the Ultra Guardian. Probably even hit it with the Ultra Guardian, because, like, the Guardian plate is pretty strong, actually. Um, Mighty Ultra Guardian plate, I'm not saying it's weak, but it's, it has its downfalls, mainly with its two-hit attack. Four-hit attack, you can see a lot of hard hits, if you're lucky enough, you know. Um, there was this undead, I think it's like an undead giant that had like 300, um, weakness or whatever. I remember that. I remember a lot of old stuff. Like, I don't really don't want to get into the whole nostalgia subject because it's just, it's, it just makes me miss the old EQ. Like, this new shit is alright, but it's just like, it will never be as good as the old AQ. Never. Never, like, um... And this kind of sadly took off the Zard Wars. I mean, it wasn't really that much stuff on there, though, to be honest. Like, the same stuff was on there. There's literally, literally, literally no updates. Same arms. Everyone, everybody had the same armor on there. That was max level. Then the max level on there was uh, 130. And I, I purposely, purposely spread my stats out for that game. Because that game was, it's old. You know, and it's old, and the monsters on there wasn't really that strong. Like, you can face a couple of old, strong monsters on that game, but really not that many because the, the, um, the monster pool was the same. You can face the same monsters, use the same stuff every time. Like, all you have to do is switch into the golden plate, the old golden plate, not the, not the new, new one, not the one before the new one. Because the newest one got that stupid red cape on it. The older one didn't have the cape, but, you know, it looked like way better without the cape, to be perfectly honest. You know, I think the the one before the newest one looks better. Because the character's head is positioned better. It's like, sometimes, like, updates go backwards in looks when they do things, and I don't like that. Like, the character's head on a new golden plate is, like, is pushed forward, and I don't know why. And I'm just like, why, you know? Like, it, it, I, cause I used to like the golden plate, even though I don't, I didn't really attack in it because it was really weak. It was really defensive. It wasn't really meant for like offensive purposes, even though like 
there was a chance you could hit like really hard with it. Cause I think, I think if you wore the full set, um, there was a small chance you was gonna hit like really hard as if it was like an offensive type armor, armor, and I thought it was really cool. You know, but it really wasn't worth it though. Like, I mean, the defense was prestige because literally that was Mage's best friend in the past, the Golden Plate. If it wasn't the Mage Orbs, it was the Golden Plate because it had, I think, like 45 to all defenses and I think like 35 to light and dark. So, um, people use that like crazy. Like, you can put any shield on it and it will have almost the best defenses in the game reason why I say almost is because of the fact that you couldn't really have the best defenses because your other stats was at 45 base, you know, and darkness and light was at 35. So you could probably have the best light and dark defense in the game, but probably not any other element. But it's pretty damn close. Damn, that was fast. So look at that. Now my stats are maxed out. Maxed out. All right, um, why don't you look at that? So now, I'm no longer a pure warrior. I'm a purely warrior. Um, I might change the name of it, but this is the name I'm just going to come up with for right now. The purely warrior. Or, better yet, no. I'm going to call it the true pure warrior. Um, you know, of course, without the the in the beginning, but this true pure warrior. So, yeah. Um, give me just a second so I can actually put this in paint so I won't lose my previous screenshot. Give me just a second. And, all right. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I did pause the recording because I had to do some things as far as, like, paint or whatever. Just something simple. All right, so... Um, as you can see here, I left this page up. So, this is my old stats. Alright. Um, the old Pure Warrior. Or we can still call it Pure Warrior, but honestly, this is just basically the official old Pure Warrior. Now, True Pure Warrior. Alright. So, yep. Stat changes all in effect. So, um, I don't know what the staff is going to do with our health. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with that. They may leave the same. If they leave the same, please buff our strength, dexterity, luck, intellect, charisma, whatever the case may be when it comes to stats. Pretty sure the buffs is already active, though. So, yep, that'll be it. So, um, I'll catch you guys later. Battle on.